cataloging new items. When you need to add materials to the library software, you will want to follow the InfoHio cataloging method. You will search your database first and determine if a record is already available anywhere in the district. If a record already exists, you will add your new item to that existing record. If a record is not in the database, you will use the SmartPort tool to import a record. Let's check our database for a record. Click on Call Number Item Maintenance. Verify that the library is searching all buildings. Search for your title. If you find a matching record, select it and click the Modify button. Check the building call number area. The library associated with your login will be listed first. Does your library already own a copy? If your library does own a copy, select the barcode of an existing copy. Click on the Add Item button. Verify the data fields. Add in a price. If you are using dumb barcodes, put the label on the book first and then scan the dumb barcode last. By scanning the barcode last, that will add the barcode number and it will also save your work. Let's check our database for another record. Search the database for the title. If you find a matching record, select it and click the Modify button. Check the building call number area. The library associated with your login will be listed first. Does your library already own a copy? If your library does not own a copy, click the Add Call Number button. Select your building from the drop-down list and click OK. Verify the data fields. Add on a price. If you are using dumb barcode labels, put the label on the book first, then scan the barcode. That will add the barcode number and it will also save your work. If you ever need to change the library for an item, change the library from the item library dropdown. Let's check our local database for another record. When searching for a title, if there are no records for your item, you will need to import a record. Close the call number item maintenance. Click on SmartPort. Select the InfoHio catalog and select the WorldCat subscription. Click Connect. You can search for the item by title or ISBN. Click the search button, view the records, and find a record that you like. And here looking at Dogman, I can see that this one has a couple of subject headings and a nice abstract. I can use these buttons up here to move to the next record. And I can see that this one also has an abstract, but it has additional subject headings. I'm going to use this one. Click the capture button. On this screen, from the drop-down, select your building, click OK. At this time, the record is only on your screen. Click the Save button. The record has now been imported into Workflows. Close the Capture screen. Click on the Call Number Item Maintenance Wizard. Select the record that you just imported by clicking the title with the blue line. Do not make any changes to the call number at this time. You cannot make any changes to the call number until after the barcode number has been added to the record. Click the Add Item button. Verify the data fields. Add a price. If you are using dumb barcodes, first put the label on the book and then scan the dumb barcode last. That will save your work. 
Now that we have a barcode on our book, we can change the call number. Click the Save button. Questions? Please contact your InfoHio provider for workflow support.